Cleats. These They're cleats. like cleats. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight robots, fight. Now that is one of the things when you have these big wheeled robots is traction is always an issue. They're always trying to figure out a better way to get traction around the bots and a little bit less slippage. Some slippage is good, right? That's what you want with these big wheeled robots. You're able to kind of drift around and be a little bit unconventional in your movements, but you also want to be able to control when you have to. And so all of these people are, are trying to figure out different ways to make their bigger wheeled robots a little bit more traction, a little bit more terrific, especially on these wooden floors. This cleat design is really interesting. I'm looking forward to talking to Brandon later on today about what the impetus was and what the thought process was with this. Look at that hit right there. You can see the damage to the sticker in the middle of Uchfunt. Yeah, Brandon is landing some really good hits. Absolutely. It looks like that weapon might be down as well on Uchfunt. The weapon is uh, still spinning there on Star Child. Star Child, very reliable. Oh, there we go. Weapon spinning back up on Uchfunt. Yeah, so Uchfunkt is uh, apparently from a first team. Yeah, first here, robotics team. Here in Norwalk, Connecticut. First team, 6346. Cool, hometown heroes. You gotta love those hometown robotics uh, robotics builders who just get to wake up and drive five minutes over to fight their robots. Kyle, Brandon has has successfully uh, cut one, one, of, one of the belts off of Uchfunkt. Yeah, definitely. That's uh, that's definitely slowing down that weapon as well. Wow. And look at all that damage you see into the top plate of Uchfunk. I mean, these hits from Star Child, they may not look like much. They're not knocking them across the arena, but they're taking little chunks out of that top plate. We are seeing really good uh, traction inside of the box from Star Child. This is the first time we've ever really seen it. Normally, they're kind of drifting around the box, waiting yeah. for an opportunity to get that hit. Wow! Whoa! Yes! There we go. Brandon! All and right. we are stuck together. Now, if you caught the last Norwalk Havoc, you will see Starchild got, you know, embedded in multiple robots in that competition. Yeah, absolutely. And this was a really good shot right into the top lead. Incredible. Good work. The, the, the hope for Brandon is that, is that he's able to pierce the top plate and cut something important inside of that robot. Yeah, that's always the goal. And obviously they were able to get one of the belts off of, of uh, Uchfunkt earlier. Big help there. Here we go, safety crowbar. I mean, Starchild is such a strong performer at Norwalk. Fourth place in February, third place in March, part of the super team waterproof sealant that <laughs> took home first place in the 12 pound division. Um, and look how deep that blade went inside yes. of Uchfunkt. I mean, that is not healthy. Whatever's underneath that is yeah. not happy. Yeah, Brandon, watch watch out that uh, this crowbar doesn't, uh, doesn't damage your robot. There we go, that's eased out. Uch funked means three pounds. Interesting. That's uh, that's in what we're seeing like in the chat. Um, yeah, Barry Hot. Barry Hot says this is an incredible to watch. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Barry. Thank you so much for your super chat. Yeah, thanks for watching, Barry. Yeah, we appreciate it. We like it when everybody watches. We really like it when we get those super chats. We get enough super chats, we'll buy a, uh, a heavyweight arena. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a guarantee, Kyle? No, Are we no gonna be I, I am it? not in charge of buying anything here. <laughs> I am literally in charge of this microphone and that's yeah. it. Yeah. And I didn't even buy the microphone. All right, they are unstuck and they are ready to, uh, to restart this match. One, there we go. We're starting this match back over. And it looks like Whoa. The weapon's still functional on both of these bots after that separation. That's always something to worry about. On Ooch Funts, I mean, we're seeing this belt that's just hanging there, but they must have multiple belts. That's Gotta incredible. have the multiple belts. The only way to do it is the multiple belts. Look at these, these top attacks. Still getting big sparks and doing visible damage. Wow, I mean, you can look at that see top that. plate. You can see the top plate getting peeled away. Yeah, crumpled Whoa. up where those hits are happening. I don't see a countdown anymore. Uh, yeah, what's going on with the rest of the time on this match? Are we yeah. just, is this a no time limit match? Are we going until the batteries go out? <laughs> All right, here we go. Yes, 30 seconds is, and they are stuck. 
Yeah, go ahead and pause this one. All right, so this is the end of this match. We have run out of time. We had a technical difficulty with the clock, but that is the end of the match. So this we goes to a judge's decision. So we're going to go ahead and uh, rock over to them. Wow. All three minutes, Kyle. Yeah. That, is, three that minutes. is really impressive. Courtney, I would love to start with you. Now, we're just going to give our answers real quick, and then we're going to go back and get some analysis. So, Courtney, who won that match? Star Child. Ricky. Heck yeah. Who won that match? Ab absolutely Star Child. Absolutely Star Absolutely Child. Star Child. All right. Zach, what are your thoughts? Star Child, too. Okay. Courtney, do you have any uh, any analysis on that match for us? What were your thoughts about how that went? Star Child just kept landing the hits, and they were where they needed to be. Every single time. I think those new grippies uh, on the, oh, on the wheels. Oh, incredible. Yeah. Incredible. That was super yeah, effective. Yeah, those look great. Yeah, that was really cool. It's nice to see and a new design looked. innovation work so well the first time out in the box. That was great. I am now uh, even more scared of Star Child. <laughs> Everyone should be. All right, speaking of scared, we are now going over into oh, box two. Oh, Kyle, it's late. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight robots, fight. We've got Annihilator 4000 wow. versus Lynx. Kyle, uh, did you see the speed on Lynx? I mean, what is there to say other than the speed on Lynx? Lynx is a terrifyingly fast robot, and that's Annihilator stuck in the corner. Lynx sending it right in after them again. And now Lynx is just chasing the minibot, because wow. why not? There goes the wedge on the minibot, ripped right off. Lynx deciding to go back after the big bot, you know, taking it casual. Uh, the weapon's up to full speed. Lynx doesn't care. It's fine. We'll just wow. get in there and get those hits. The grip on these wheels is insane. Look at this. They are just taking these hits, and they're not moving. They're digging back into the ground every time they get these hits. Annihilator 4000 is hanging in there. 45 seconds in the box of Lynx. I would not want to spend any time in the box of Lynx. No Look at this. way. Wow. There's a huge, huge... Uh, and that's a tap out. Wow. Annihilator 4000 taps out. Lynx moves ahead.